Hey everyone, I'm Bianca Renee and you're watching Bianca Renee Today and today I will be reviewing some new curly hair products for you guys. If you are new to my channel, I post curly hair product reviews every Sunday and makeup foundation reviews on Friday. So hit that subscribe button so you don't miss any more videos. But today I will be reviewing doo -doo -doo -doo, the My L Organics line. Now I got all of these My L Organic products from BeautyCon. When I was at BeautyCon, I was at the Sally's booth. The Sally's booth was definitely like my favorite booth there. And I got all these different My L products. So I have been trying them out one at a time to see what I really like. So we're gonna go over all of these today. So I currently have the Myel Organics Babasu Conditioning Shampoo. I have the Myel Mongongo Hydrating Conditioner. I have the Myel Styling Gel, as well as the Myel Babasu Brazilian Curly Cocktail Curl Mousse. So let me walk you through my entire routine today. I only use Myel products. That's what you see in my hair right now. First of all, how cute is the packaging? I'm a sucker for cute packaging. And I like that they really strive on having natural ingredients. So it's Myel Organic, so Organics is straight up in the name. On the back of the bottles, it does say that it has no parabens, no sulfates, no paraffins, no mineral oil, no synthetic color, no DEA, and no animal testing, okay? So it's really focusing on the natural organic ingredients-ness of the products. So let's start with the Babasu Conditioning Shampoo. I always like to do a little smell test. This one just has like a very natural smell. Like you know when something smells natural and organic? That's what this one smells like. Now I personally am not too picky on shampoo. I just want it to have a little bit of bubble and smell good. This does have a little bit of bubble. I'm not the biggest fan of the smell, it's just like super nature natural for me, but you know, teach his own. The Babasu Conditioning Shampoo is eight fluent ounces and is $15. After I put on my shampoo, I did rinse it all out and then I went to the conditioner. Now let me say that out of all the MyL products that I will be reviewing today, this one definitely is my favorite. This conditioner is amazing. Oh, it smells so good. It's very refreshing as like a perfume smell. I don't know, like, is it the Mongongo oil? I don't even know why it smells so good. The Mongongo oil hydrating conditioner is protein free. So if you know your hair is protein sensitive, this would be a great conditioner choice for you. Being protein sensitive does sometimes correlate with having low porosity hair, which is what I have. So I do really enjoy this conditioner, but mainly because it has amazing slip. I put this on my hair, I let it sit for just a little bit, and then my hair becomes so easy to detangle. And that is the most important thing that I look for with conditioners is how well it detangles and how good it smells. And this one definitely passes both of those tests. The Mongongo Oil Hydrating Conditioner is eight fluid ounces and $14.99. So after I got out the shower, after using my shampoo and conditioner, it is now time to style. So I'm styling on my damp hair, fresh out the shower. Now, if you guys know me and what I do on my channel, I prefer a product that really works well on its own. I personally don't like to cocktail a bunch of different products together, so I do like a one at a time test. Although I did try the gel on its own and the mousse on its own, today I decided to try something new and I applied both of them. So here you will see I applied a little bit of the My L Honey and Ginger Gel. I raked it all through my hair and I like to rake and scrunch the gel on wet hair. And I must say right off the bat that the smell of this is definitely honey and ginger. Now, if you don't like the smell of honey, lemon, or ginger, or don't want your hair smelling like ginger, you're probably not gonna like the smell. Now, according to the bottle, it says it has honey, ginger, and babasu oil as well. It's supposed to hydrate the hair, making it manageable. It's supposed to create curl definition, smooth edges, and frizz reduction for your daily hair regimen. It also claims to nourish and hydrate the hair with a manageable hold. When I tried this gel, I feel like I didn't get really any hold at all. I have been experimenting with gels lately and gels are like my new favorite thing. So I was so excited to try this and love this, but it felt like it really didn't give my hair much hold. I feel like the honey and ginger gel is going to give you good day one hair, but not really last long enough to get you to day two, three, four, and definitely not down the week. So this might be something that has to be cocktailed with something else, but I did not like how this worked on its own. 
nor did I really care for the smell. And this one you get 13 fluid ounces for $11.99. Now when I tried the mousse on its own, I actually was more impressed with the mousse than the gel. The mousse has a little bit more hold than the gel and I had amazing soft curl results. So if you are someone that does not like an extreme hold, just like a little very, very light hold, or you just need something that's not too heavy, you like lighter products, that would definitely be this mousse. I also noticed better day two results when I refreshed with the mousse and it just made my curls very soft and very defined. The mousse also has a very interesting smell. It definitely goes along with the whole organic natural smell and I just got a strong grapefruit smell. It literally smells like straight up grapefruit and I don't even know if I like the smell of grapefruit either. It's just one of those fruits that just has like a very strong scent but fortunately these two together and just like once they were on my hair, it smelled a lot better. But just first applying it, it kind of smells kind of strong. So if you are someone that does not like strong scents, you might not like the smell of these organic Mayo products. So these are my current results with the routine that you just witnessed. And as you can see, my curls are very shiny. They're very defined, but there is absolutely no hold and when there's no hold it makes me nervous about my day two three four day hair or just how my hair looks at the end of the day you definitely see a little bit of frizz here at the top and i don't know i do have pretty light low porosity hair and if this doesn't work well on my curls i wouldn't probably recommend this for anyone that has a coarser or thicker hair than me even with today mixing the mousse and the gel together, I'm not really noticing a big difference from when I just use the mousse on its own or when I use the gel on its own. I think they just do a pretty average job. So overall, I love what the brand stands for. I love that they focus on natural ingredients. I love the packaging of it. I love the directions on the bottle. It tells you exactly how to use everything. I also love that they were at an affordable price range ranging from about 10 to $16. So although I was so excited to try these products, they did not work as well as I wanted them to work on my hair. But I do know plenty of girls that love these products and they do have amazing results. If you're one of those people, leave me a comment. Let me know your thoughts on this line. Does it have enough hold for you? Do you like the smell? Have you tried them before? Do you cocktail them together? Leave all that below so we can help each other out. Even though I'm kind of so-so on the products I reviewed today, I definitely love the Mongongo Oil Hydrating Conditioner by Myel Organics. It smells amazing, it has great slip, and this was definitely going in my favorite conditioners stash. If you want to see if I continue to use these products, make sure you follow me on Twitter, Instagram, and Snapchat at Ms. Bianca Renee, and subscribe for more weekly videos. I'll see you guys next time. Thanks for watching Bianca Renee today.